Okay, that goes upstairs. Let me guess, this also goes upstairs? No, this goes downstairs. Traps. No evil traps. No stupid Gorgon bullshit. Alright. Kratos, come on, pal. It's a little ridiculous, like... I'm right in front of the box, I'm pressing circle, and he's just, like, trying to hug it. Like, what the fuck? Maybe open it, dick? Okay. Is there another door before I go up the other door? No, the camera doesn't pan, so I'm assuming there's no door over there. So it's only this way. I do remember the final room in here being some bullshit, though, but I can't remember what the final room is. But wait, there's more! Of course there is. Of course there's more, there's always more. What does that move even do? Like, what the fuck? From what I can tell, that move doesn't even do anything. It's supposed to be like an AoE, but it doesn't do any damage to anything. This guy isn't dead, is he? Yeah, I had a feeling we weren't. Fucking little bitch. Alright, there you go. Light, light, strong with this thing is pretty good. Because you bap him twice and then you can launch him. But I think the triangle hit is strong enough to just kill him outright, so it's pretty good. Hmm. Oh yeah, well there's undoubtedly some bullshit in this room, right? Like, I'm gonna walk in here and then like two red faces are gonna appear and then some bullshit's gonna happen. No? There it is. Oh, you again. What? What the fucking hell? Dude. Eat my ass. How tough is your armor, dude? That didn't really help me much, did it? Dude, alright, fuck this, man. So s What the fucking hell? Broke-ass stupid game, dude. I'm using the gauntlet to break his fucking armor and the game just doesn't give a shit. What the fuck is that? Like, for real, what the fuck? Why do I have to depend on a different magical ability than the fucking weapon the game gave me specifically for the purpose they gave me that specific weapon for? I don't understand. Like, what the fucking hell? I must have hit that dude like 40 times in the armor and it didn't break at all. Stupid as shit. Whatever don't understand. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Whatever, though. They are dead. 
well. Okay, okay, so the stupid Charon power breaks his armor instantly, but the gauntlet that's designed to break the armor and the fucking metal shit doesn't. What? I, I, beyond me, Chief, I don't know. I don't fucking know, that's some stupid bullshit right there if you ask me. That's bad game design. That's just dumb. Charon's ability breaks the fucking armor, but the Gauntlet of Zeus doesn't. Even though the Gauntlet of Zeus is made to break heavy shit. Where's the logic? Just don't understand, that doesn't make any sense. Also, like, the fact that I hit him 40 times with the Gauntlet and it doesn't do anything and the Gauntlet's fully upgraded, but I used the Charon magic once and it fucking completely breaks it? Like, what the fucking shit? I used the Charon magic one time and it fucking gets rid of it entirely. That's some stupid garbage. Wait, what's the point of breaking the holes then? What's the point of breaking the hole in the wall if I can't jump in it and get treats and shit? Or is that what causes the harpies to spawn? So it's just a couple extra red orbs for breaking those, I guess? Alright. Oh no, there's a box in this one, okay. Thought there was gonna be more harpies. I was gonna say, what's the point of breaking these if it's not worth it? Okay, I believe this is the final level. Like, the final part of the building. If I remember correctly, because I'm pretty sure I remember an elevator here. Okay, I can grab these ones. The quicker they're out of here, the better. Yeah. That's why, too. I remember the stupid fucking Gorgons. Okay. I thought all the Harpies were dead. That's some bullshit. What? I pulled the shield out there two times and it didn't parry at all. Whatever. That can't be it. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's more than that, huh? Alright, let's lead you over here. Come here, you big idiot. Come here. Give me the magic. Fuck! No, I don't have enough time. Love how in the most recent God of War, Kratos is trying to teach his son about respect and shit. I don't know, I, I kinda miss the old angry Kratos, where he like just breaks everything and rips everything in half. That's my preferred Kratos, but that's just me. I appreciate the tone of the new game, but I like the classics more. Shit. Can't parry that. Feel the same way? Yeah. I don't know, I also like the QTEs and the epicness and the cinematic feel of these ones a lot more than the new one. The new one feels a lot more mellow. Maybe it'll ramp up with the next game though, like the next installment. What's up though? Tell me how to pronounce your name please so I don't butcher it and fuck it up. And embarrass myself. I know I've seen you somewhere, I think I've seen you in Pim's chat, right? Pretty sure. I'm really bad at remembering names, though. Like, I'm really bad at associating names with places. Solve? Alright. I didn't know if it was, like, foreign or, like, it was meant to be pronounced a different way or something like that. Oh, yeah, I didn't go through this door yet. We just got to this level. That's right. Gotta say, too, Conor McGregor is really annoying in the most recent God of War. I, th I think... I think Conor McGregor's character is really good, but... I don't know, like, the overall tone of the game, like, the old God of Wars have the cinematic camera and, like, the drawn-out, panned-out, like, 
where you can see Kratos scaling a giant monument, and it just, like, adds a lot of depth of field to the game. And then, like, you can see him battling a god or whatever, and it's just, it's really neat. I don't know, like, the new one doesn't feel like that. Like, when you fight Magni and Modi or whatever, and they're just, like, two little fucking dwarfs, it's just, it's not as epic, you know what I mean? Like, if you fight Odin, and Odin's, like, this big fucking god with, like, a crazy-ass beard and, like, a giant mallet or whatever, and you have to, like, run up his arm and, like, jump and fucking sling your axe into his face or something, that'll be cool. But, like, I, I don't know. Like, these older God of Wars are just... They're, they're my cup of tea. Like, these are the God of Wars I love. I don't like the new one as much. Like, the new one was a great game, don't get me wrong, but these old God of Wars are better, in my opinion. But, like, I guess they just wanted to change the formula to something more modern, I guess. Because, like... I, I don't know, I guess they didn't want to make it hacky and slashy because it just seems kind of outdated and they wanted to, like, re-imagine the franchise, I suppose. Yeah, this is the final part. Okay. Since the other idiot was calling Kratos' wife a whore, yeah. Pissing off Atreus. Okay, so, again, before I go into this boss fight, I will probably fuck up the QTEs and I will probably die a few times. There is an insta-kill in this fight and it happens multiple times. So, be prepared for that. Again, if I fail any of the QTEs, I'll trim it together so it looks better, but I'm probably going to die in this fight a little bit. And if I die in this fight, I'm not going to be annoyed, I'm not going to be pissed, because I expect it to happen. The QTEs in these ones are bullshit. The QTEs in the two PSP God of Wars are absolute garbage. The QTEs in God of War 1, 2, 3, Ascension, those are fine. Choose your words carefully, Ghost of Sparta. You address the goddess of the underworld. Don't take that tone with me, you fucking weird whore. Your daughter as well. <laughs> you look she like a fucking Russian mail order bride out of a magazine, bruh. Lead me to her. You look like I could like look you up on 1800 Russian Horrors.com. She can be yours. For only eight hundred thousand rubles. You could have this beautiful kind of sort of attractive lady, but not really. I grow weary of Or a woman big mad? Yeah. I think she's even more bitchy because she's a brunette. I was betrayed by Zeus and tricked by my husband Hades. Now I am to stay in the underworld as queen of the dead, to serve the fallen and care for them as my own children. It's not that bad. It's only like a month. I demand to see my daughter. My daughter. She's like, all right, dude, calm the fuck down. Jesus Christ. I can help you. What's wrong with her nose? Actually, what what's wrong with her whole face? Just fix the whole thing. Just fix the whole fucking thing. Maybe I could, you know, do a little work with the gauntlet of Zeus, you know? Iron out some kinks. By punching her in the face repeatedly. And let it release the evils of your past. Only then will you be free. He's so fucking mad. Yeah, he's pretty pissed. Kratos is always pretty pissed off. What is this like an airport security check for God of War? It's like, oh yeah, leave all your weapons at the gate. Nah, I think I'll just leave, bro. I don't think my daughter's really that worth it. Okay, I, th I think we have to. Because if we don't, like, everything fucking sucks. Yep, there goes all my health that I worked so hard for. Now I can die in two hits. What happens if I don't press any buttons? Does Kratos just sit there grunting for hours? Like, if I don't press any buttons, he's like... Like he's battling with a tree or some shit? What is this gonna take away? You've already taken my health and my magic, what else can you take? Oh, my red orbs, great. Fantastic. Now I am but a man in a skirt, which is a little bit weird. See, if you're a man in a skirt and you're Kratos, it's passable, it's cool, because you're the god of war. If you're any other dude in a skirt, it's kind of weird. Unless you're into that. Maybe some guys like the breathability. S Scotsmen are ahead of their time. They're innovators. I am here now, child. I have a franchise. What happened to his tattoo? Oh, his tattoos are gone. Now he's just an angry bald dude with a goatee. 
No, he just looks like your everyday average bar patron. Others has always been your flaw. But no matter. For now you serve my purpose. It is time for all that came before to end. The Titan will fulfill his role and finish what I have started. I released Atlas. You? You? As you were pathetically disarming yourself, Atlas completed the task I set him out to do. Pathetically? The, the sun in his hand, Excuse me. It is only a matter of time before he destroys Yeah, so the insta-kills, if I remember correctly. Uh, when she calls and Atlas... With it. But why? When she calls Atlas, he does an insta-kill, and if you don't do the QTE, you die. Like, instantaneously. The good news is, though, is the boss has checkpoints, so you don't have to redo the boss every time you fuck it up, which is fantastic. Once the pillar is destroyed, the world will revert into chaos. His tattoos are his sins. Are they? I'm pretty sure the tattoos are just tattoos. I will perish. I know he got the tattoo to, like, moder model his What's brother Demos or whatever, to honor his memory or whatever the fuck. In your selfish choice his ashes, like, the ashes that coat his skin and make his skin white or his sins. No. Elysium falls to Kratos. So. She will perish. No! I will not let the gods take her from me again! Hey, <laughs> lol, yeet. Bye. Oh, I've been through worse. To him, yet impossible to make. Hmm. To stay with his daughter meant the end of the world and the end of her. This part is pretty damn fucked up, though. If you know the God of War series, this part is pretty fucked up. It's it's pretty harsh. While his hatred and anger for the gods grew ever stronger, he knew there was but one thing to do. Blood of wife and daughter? No. This tattoo is just a tattoo. Father, please. No, get off me. <laughs> get off me, you fucking orphan. Please. Go away, dude. I don't want you anymore. <laughs> Stay here, dude. Do they have a pound for kids that I can just, like, take you to? Father. Father, no. Yeah, she sounds enthusiastic, right? <laughs> ah, come here, bitch. Where are you running? Soon there ain't no escape, ho. He yeah, come here. He lost in power. Yeah. See, these people have already died. Now I'm killing them in the afterlife. That's some fucked up shit. That's some fucked up shit. There we go. Alright, now we got our stuff. Are we Gucci? Oh, nice dodge. I, that dude was off screen. I couldn't even see him running at me. Could have never sleeps? Nah, no time for sleeping. We gotta beat the shit out of our enemies. And forsake our only child. Well, for now, our only child, but she's replaceable, so we get Atreus in the later game. Always mad, yeah, he's always pissed off. Fucking piece of shit. Why are these people fucking nicking my stuff, dude? I need that shit. To beat the goddess of the underworld and whatever. Oh, get fucked. Wait, so is there no point to fighting these dudes? Should I just find, like, the people that are holding my stuff? No, that bitch had nothing. I just killed her for no reason. The one person who wasn't a thief, and I fucking killed him. These other people, they're all dirty ass thieves though, I don't mind cutting them to ribbons, I don't give two fucks. I'll get fucked. You know what? You know what? I'm tired of your nonsense. Sh fucking shit out of here. How many of you bitches do I gotta murder? God damn. More apparently. Come here, bitch. Alright, you're dead. You're dead. 
Now we got our fucking love glove back. There we go. All right. Hey, what's up, Vsauce? Happy to see you're back. Happy to be back. I took a two-week absence. I forgot why. I honestly can't remember why, but there was a reason I couldn't stream. Oh yeah, it's because my uh, splitter for my PS3 wasn't working, and I don't have any more PS4 games to play for a while. Not until December. So uh, we're just running through all the God of Wars, because I got PS now. So we're going to run through all the God of Wars, and then we're going to run through um, Silent Hill 2 and 3 as well. And then they'll all go up on YouTube way, way later. So, like, the people that are watching this on YouTube, you're probably about, like, six months in the future, so. Hi, from the past. Thank you for watching my shit content. <laughs> 